Hello, this is Numbers Lesson 14. In this, I will discuss questions based on properties of perfect squares. Here, I have written the perfect squares from 1 to 25. The basic concept is that the last two digits of the perfect square starts repeating after square of 25. It means that all the squares after 25, all the perfect square, 27, 29, 115, any there are infinite perfect squares after 25 squares but their last two digits will be one one among the last two digits of squares of 1 to 25 for example 26 square if you calculate this is will be equal to 76 now look at the last two digits 76 have it already come yes you can see that in 24 square the last two, two digits were in 24 square the last two digits were 76 now look at this 31 31 if you calculate with the calculator 31 square would be 961 have 61 already came yes you can see that 19 square the last two digits are this 19 square the last two digits are 61 41 square if you calculate the 41 square this will be equals to 1681 have 81 already came you can see that is it 81 the last two digits of 41 square must have arrived in the square of 1 to 25 where it 81 you can see that this 81 9 square this is 9 square 81 the last two digits are there if you calculate the square of 87 87 square would be 7 5 6 9 have 69 came earlier yes you can see that in square of 39 69 you already there this look at this square of 39 the last two digits are 69 uh, 123 square if you calculate with the help of calculator 123 square you will get 15129 you can see that 29 already came the last two digits already came in the square of 23 23 square is 529 last two digits are 29 same is here 367 square if you calculate with the help of calculator this will be 134689 now 89 you can see that have already come in the 17 square 17 square 89 so only thing i want to say that the last two digits of the perfect squares will start repeating after the squares of 25 but there will be a pattern what is the pattern on which the last two digits comes again and again i will discuss in the next slide now what is the pattern of on the base of which the last two digits of the perfect square repeat the last two digits of x square where x is between 1 to 25 will always be equal to last two digits of 50k plus minus x whole square where k is a natural number. For example, if I say that last two digits of 13 square, you can see that 13 square the last two digits are 69 will be equal to last two digits of 50 K where K is a natural number plus minus 13 whole square. So it means that look at the last two digits of 13 square. You can see that the last two digits of 13 square is 69 because 13 square is 169. Last two digits are 69. Now when will the next time in which perfect squares the last two digits will be 69. This will be based on this pattern 50 K plus minus 13. If your k is 1, if your k is 1, then you, you will get the number as 50 into 1, 50 plus 13, that is 63 and 50 minus 13, that is 37. So 37 square and 63 square. These are the first two numbers where the last two digits will be 69. If you calculate 37 square, this will be equals to this is equals to 1369 you can see the last two digits are 69 then 63 square will be equal to 3969 now you can see that if you put k is equals to 2 k is 1 we put two numbers you got if you put k is equals to 2 you would get two numbers as 15 to 200 100 minus 13 87 square and 113 square now 87 square will be always because of this is 7569 I am calculating with the help of calculator. This is equals to 12769. You can see that in every perfect square the last two digits are 69. So it means that after, after 13 square 
what will be the next square when the last two digit would be 69 so next would be 37 then would be 63 then it would be 87 then it would be 113 and for you can carry forward if you put k is equals to 3 you will get the next two numbers do perfect squares with the last two digits uh, will be equals to 69 now very important to understand that apart from these numbers there will be no perfect square where the last two digits will be 69 so it means that it means that last two digits if i say l2d last two digits 69 it will first come in the square of 13 13 square then it will again come in 50k plus minus 13 now what's the logic behind this it's a very simple logic uh, if you calculate the square of 50k plus minus 13 you calculate a plus minus b whole square you, you know that this is equals to a square 50 k square plus 13 square plus minus 2 into 50 k into 13 that will be the perfect square of 50 k plus minus 13 i opened the perfect square of a plus minus b whole square now as you can see that this is equals to 2500 into k this is 169 this is plus minus 1300 into k now you can see that here the last two digits will always be double zero here also the last two digit will be at least double zero so if you add this the last two digit will always come 69 that's the simple common sense logic on the on the base of which the last two digits of the perfect square starts repeating itself one more example if you see the last two digits of 17 square last two digits of 17 square will always be equal to last two digits of 50k plus minus 17 square it will repeat in this manner so it means that you know that 17 square the last two digits are 89 so next uh, perfect square where the last two digits will be 89 will be first k put k is equal to 1 50 into 1 50 minus 17 33 square the last two digit will be 89 then 67 square the last two digit would be 89 if you put k is equals to 2 you will get 15 to 200 minus 17 83 square the last two digit will be 89 then 117 square and so on you you if you put start putting the value of k k value could be till infinity so therefore there are infinite perfect square where the last two digits will be 89 but I just told you the pattern on the base of which the last two digits will repeat. Few more important observation on the perfect square. Now no perfect squares ends in 2, 3, 7, 8. As I told you that the perf last two digits starts repeating after the square of 25. So it means that last two digits or the last digits of all perfect squares after 25 will be one among the squares of 1 to 25 now you can see that in square of 1 to 1 to 25 no perfect squares ends in 2 3 7 and 8 it means that any number whose last digit or unit digit is 2 3 7 or 8 it means we can 100% say that that number is not a perfect square because no perfect square ends in or you can say that unit digit of no perfect square is 2 3 7 and 8 very very important observation second observation is that all perfect squares ending in 6 every any kind of perfect squares if you know that number is a perfect square and its unit digit is 6 you can always say that the tens digit will be an odd number you can say that look at this third six square this is the first uh, number that ends in 6 is a perfect square ending in 6 you can see that the tens digit is 3 odd look at this number 196 this is also a perfect squares perfect square ending in 6 the tens digit is odd that is 9 look at this 256 this is also a perfect square ending in 6 the tens digit is odd that is 5 look at this 576 again a perfect square ending in 6 the tens digit is odd that is 7 one more would be there if you see the 4 square this is 4 square again a perfect square ending in 6 the la the tens digit is odd so very very important property all perfect squares which ends in 6 the tens digit is always odd 
but condition is that you must know that number should be a perfect square now next is question number one you have to tell which of the following can be a perfect square now is this number can be a perfect square whatever is the value of pqr pqr the single digits from 0 to 9 now you know that 86 does not comes in any perfect square from 1 to 25 as, as i told you that the la, last two digits of perfect square starts repeat after 25 square and nowhere from 1 square to 25 25 square the last two digits are 86 it means that this number is not a perfect square a b 69 uh, is the last two digits 69 comes any square yes 13 square the last two digits are 69 so i know that 13 square last two digits are 69 after this it will repeat for 50k plus minus 13 square and it's a four digit number so there will be two or three numbers where the last two digits are 69 so ab 69 can be a perfect square third is a b c d 75 nowhere in the square of 1 to 25 the last two digits are 75 so this is not a definitely not a perfect square a b 248 again not perfect square because i told you that no perfect squares ends in 2 3 7 8 no perfect squares end in 2 3 7 8 very important property b 76 yes this can be a perfect square because you know that 5 76 6 76 all are perfect square so this can be a perfect square a 9 b again can be a perfect square because 196 a perfect square so that was the example one now question number two a a b b is a four digit perfect square given that the number is a perfect square a and b are non zero single digit numbers it means that a and b are from 1 to 9 they are not equal to 0 what is the value of a plus b now how we can solve this question this is a a b b now you can see that last two digits are same i told you that the last two dig digits of the perfect square repeat after the square of 25 now from where 1 square to 25 the last two digits are same there are many numbers from 1 square to 25 square where the last two digits are same but they are 0 but here it is given that a and b are not 0 so if you see the closely the squares from 1 to 25 you can see that 12 square in 12 square this is equals to 144 the last two digits are same so we can say that the last two digits are 44 because in no other perfect square the last two digits are same it's only 12 square where the last two digits are same and they are known zero so from here we understood that this would be equal to only 44 as it is given to us that number is a perfect square now i told you that the 12 square is 44 144 the last two digits are 44 now next perfect squares are where the last two digits would be 44 will be in this pattern 50 K plus minus 12 square. So if you put K is equals to one, you will get 50 minus 12, 38 square. Again, the last two digits would be 44, 50 into one plus 12, 62 square. The last two digits would be again 44. If you put K is equals to two, you will get 15 to 200 minus 12, 88 square. Again, the last two digits will be 44 and k equals to 2 if you get 112 square again the last two digits would be 44 but given that the number is a four digit number it's given to us that so 112 square it's a five digit number so we will we will won't count this the condition that first two digit must also be same so if you calculate 38 square this will be equals to 1 triple 4 although the last two digits are 4 4 same but first two digits are not same so this won't be our number if you calculate 62 square this is 3 8 double 4 again the last two digits are 44 but first two digits are not same we need first two digits should be same next is 88 square if you calculate this will be equal to double seven double four and this is our number that we are looking for because our, our perfect square is like this a a b b so double seven double four this is a square of 88 and the last two digits are same as well as first two digits are same so what is the value of a plus b so a plus b would be 7 plus 4 11 would be our final answer
Now question three is A B eighty nine is a four digit perfect square. How many such numbers are possible? Now you must know that eighty nine comes in seventeen square. Seventeen square is two eighty nine. Now this is three digit number. Now you know that the last two digits eighty nine will repeat in the square of fifty k plus minus seventeen square. Now if you put k is equals to one, you will get first number as fifty minus seventeen thirty three square. If you if you or fifty plus seventeen sixty seven square. If you put k is equals to two, you will get fifty into two hundred minus seventeen eighty three square, and this is one one seven square. In all these perfect square, the last two digits would be eighty nine. Now, as the given number is a four digit number, so this will not be counted. So thirty three square would be how much? This is one zero eight nine. Sixty seven square would be double four eight nine. Eighty three square would be six double eight nine. So in all these perfect square. the last two digits are 89 and the numbers are in the form of a b 89 so how many such numbers are possible so answer is three such numbers are possible that is 33 square 67 square and 83 square so that was all about this lesson